Hi everybody, Kara's here, and I'm sitting on top of Airport Vortex in Sedona. Yesterday was Halloween, here are some crows. I don't know if you guys can see them up there. <laughs> What's up, crow? <laughs> so yeah, there's interspecies communication going on. Let's talk about some upgrades. So, you might hear my voice sounds a little odd. It's because doing some major work, major light work here in Sedona this week. I'm loving it. It's great. And one of the one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is that sometimes upgrades might come, and it's not always the most delicious, delightful thing, because when we're lighting up different areas of our consciousness, so you can think about it as a grid around us that our consciousness can access like a big motherboard making up all of creation and we're running along it or you can think about it like neurons in your mind making you new connections making new electrical circuits things like that in any event whenever you start pushing into areas that you had not previously experienced you might notice some <laughs> I don't want to say kickbacks, I don't want to say anything negative because it's just intensity. The other night, right before I got some massive, massive downloads, life-changing stuff that then me and some kindreds were grounding in last night, <clears throat> excuse me, it felt like my head, my actual physical head, I don't get headaches, I never have, and so when something's going on, I know that it's energy moving. So... I had the craziest intense pain in my head, in my physical head. I felt like things were happening on the top of it. I felt like there was a drill bit going into my temple. And then later that night, I started streaming in all this new information, lighting up these grids of knowledge and understanding about the interactions of the cosmic forces that have created our planet in the duality game. So positive, negative, good, evil, male, female. Because in order to do what we're here to do, we have to understand all of these aspects that we put here so we could understand them from the inside out. It's easy to build a game and look down on it from above. But then when you download yourself into the game and do what you came here to do and get the codes that you came here to get and you've set all the pieces up for this energy alchemy and this creation alchemy and then you're in the game living it, <laughs> it's a different perspective. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get in the game. That's what Gaia is for. So pure consciousness can come in to 3D. We're not trying to send up out of 3D. We're trying to stretch our consciousness to be aware of other dimensions and interact in them because we're always there and also still stay in 3D, which does not usually happen in the progression of consciousness. 3D is kind of a new thing to hold full divine consciousness. So anyway, upgrades. It's important that we remain authentic, and it's important that we do what needs to be done, and it's important that we are open to all connections that come our way. Because one of the people who I've connected with this time in Sedona is a soul sister, and she's one of the th three people who I've met in the past three months, no, six months. The first woman of which who actually has been lucid enough on both sides, so I was lucid enough and she was lucid enough, to the first time that I met her, instantly recognize each other, and not just physically, you know what I mean, and say verbally, where both of us understood, it's good to see you here. <laughs> so we're accessing more realms of knowledge now, and it's important to learn your own code, learn your own technology as a sentient being made up of energy and of matter and also figure out how you can best influence the world around you to make it the best place you can imagine and it's going to be different every day sometimes you just want to do something like this and come up here and look around at all the beauty and that grounds you well enough and you don't need anything else and maybe your appreciation of the beauty of the place is giving it exactly the love that it needs because everybody knows that when you need love there are a bunch of ways that you can get it and so coming to our planet and giving it our love and affection and nurturing as the consciousness that helps to maintain it looks different for every person. For some people it's activism. For some people it's 
using their intelligence to bring in new kinds of technology that work in all kinds of systems to make this world in which we find ourselves, and I'm not just talking Earth, I'm talking the whole experience, a more harmonious one. For some people it's to make connections and to remain in their power and authenticity while exchanging love in lots of different ways. So that's what I think that mine is sometimes. Well, maybe all the above. I think we're all all the above. It just depends on what you want to focus on. So because the veils are thin right now, because Halloween was last night and there's lots of energy going around, I urge you and I would highly recommend that you take stock of what's currently going on in your reality, that you see what about it you like and focus on that and use that as a jumping off point, haha, <laughs> jumping off point, to create more of whatever it is that makes you feel like, whether or not it looks like that, when there are things you don't like in your reality, to notice them and do your best to take immediate steps, even if they're baby steps, to shift them to something that more closely aligns with the most epic life you can imagine. Because one of the specific codes on Earth that we are grounding in and creating for the universe is the energy of the epic win, of the ah, fist bump. <laughs> That's something that's uniquely human. <laughs> so we need to rock that as much as we can, in my opinion. Anyway, hope you guys are doing beautifully well. Here's another shot of beautiful Sedona. I'm headed back to Santa Fe for another two weeks to stay in a different Earth ship. So it's going to be good times. And I will give you guys a tour of them because it's a really wonderful way to live off the grid and surrounded by our planet, which does want to take care of us. <laughs> All right. Much love, you guys. Go in peace. I've got some stuff going on online, so just go to my website and check it out. Different classes, different things, workshops. Hopefully retreats soon again. <laughs> I feel like my life's a retreat these days, so, you know, you make the temple around you, right? All right, guys. Love you. Go in peace. Talk to you again very soon.